Hi folks, this Sunday is the Reign of Christ, and I have here for you the readings for that day. Uh, we'll be reading from Jeremiah uh, chapter 23 and Colossians chapter 1, and then the Gospel of Luke chapter 23. A reading from Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares the Most High. Therefore, this is what the Most High, the God of Israel, says to the shepherds who tend my people. Because you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not bestowed care on them, I will bestow punishment on you for the evil you have done, declares the Most High. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them and will bring them back to their pasture, where they will be fruitful and increase in number. I will place shepherds over them who will tend them, and they will no longer be afraid or terrified, nor will any be missing, declares the Most High. The days are coming, declares the Most High, when I will raise up to David a righteous branch, a ruler who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land, in whose days Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which the branch will be called, the Most High Our Righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Colossians. May you be strengthened with all power according to God's glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and joyfully give thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. For God has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son God loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Christ all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by Christ and for Christ. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And Christ is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all God's fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to God all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is chapter 23, verse 33. When they came to the place called the Skull, there they crucified him, along with the criminals, one on his right, the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. The people stood watching, and the rulers even sneered at him. They said, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Christ of God, the Chosen One. The soldiers also came up and mocked him. They offered him wine vinegar and said, If you're the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was a written notice above him which read, 
This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, I tell you the truth today. You will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join us on Sunday, either online or at the church, St. George's. The service begins itself at 1030, but there is music beforehand. So come about 1015 or log on at 1015. Hope to see you Sunday. Bye now.